Good morning everyone. It is Saturday today and it will be another day of tidying and organizing in the house. Uh, it is quarter to nine and we're waiting for the charity shop to open to see uh, the opening hours for the day. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is how the video started ended last night and this is how it's starting today. Um, if they open in the afternoon, we're gonna get stuff done from the attic first. So if there's anything from Owens or clothes that we won't be using for Alfie, I will put in the bags for the charity shop. If they are only open in the morning, we'll just bring everything we have and then do the attic uh, swap around. Um, so yeah, I have a spot. Do you know that when there is a spot that's under the skin and you know it's gonna come? It's not there yet, but you know it's going to be a bad one. You can see that. This is what's going to be. Um, yeah, it's a hard life, isn't it? And Owen is there, having some breakfast yeah, while man. watching some TV. And Alfie is just over here in his little seat. You can see his hand there moving around. The weekend used to be like a really relaxing time and special time for us but it's not really anymore because since because we were both off at the same time me on maternity leave and James on sick leave um, we're at home every day of the week as well and it's just but it's always nice to feel like it's the weekend for some reason I think our brain is programmed to feel like that but um, another few weeks and we'll know what weekends are Again, uh, we're working from home. I kind of work every day, even on the weekend, but at least I'll have James and Owen uh, there all day at the weekends. We cannot get through to the charity shop on the phone um, to make sure they are open um, and what their opening hours are. I know they used to be open on Saturday because we've brought stuff before, but they might have cut down the hours, we don't know. So we're going to load the car and James is going to try and drive there to see and um, if not well we'll just have to wait until Monday to bring things but for now let's move a lot of bags into a car that's the car uh, loaded with all the these are all clothes and toys and there's a massive box of toys on the back seat as well are the stickers I got for the car and I'm now stuck to it Time to get this little baby all clean and changed into new clothes. Hey baby. Hey baby. He's been fighting sleep since this morning. He was almost there and then he woke up and he hasn't slept since. So the plan is to get him all clean and then get him to sleep. Okay baby? This is another one of the outfits I got in the boots from their own range. There's a little badger on the belly, that's the trousers to match. And there's little socks with a little animal on there. And the back of the t-shirt has back of the badger. And we have an overtired baby who can't control his body anymore. Are you talking baby? What are you saying? Yeah, you're right out. We're gonna go to sleep now, okay? I am gonna to try to get him to sleep because he's just completely wrecked and he was fighting and fighting and fighting and he really needs to go to sleep. I thought I would show you the state of him. He fell asleep drinking milk and this is him right now. I'm gonna try and move him to the buggy, um, hopefully. It works. Uh, he was absolutely exhausted. He usually has a nap um, whenever it's about nine, for just for forty-five minutes, but it's just enough so he's not too tired. And then he has a longer nap around lunchtime, and he just didn't have that fresh morning nap, and he just really needed it. So hopefully now he gets a decent nap, and uh, if he's much better when he wakes up, it's just frustrating that he can't explain to him that he. Um, he just would feel so much better if he was more rested, but he's a little baby, he needs to learn. Here we are. Hopefully that's him for a wee while now. Oops. 
now that I feel asleep, I am going to make lunch um, so it is ready for whenever we want to have it. I am making a quiche Lorraine, which is something I make very often because um, everybody likes it in the house. It's very, very quick to make and um, it's nice. Oh, and there's some post for you. Do you want yes. to see? Yes. There's a letter for you. Thank you. Need to open it? Yes. Do you want to open it? Yes. Do you know who it's from? Um, my Do you know who sent that for you? I don't know who it is. <gasps> was Coco and Remy and Baby Dawn, they forgot to give you your birthday card whenever we went from, so they posted it for you? Is that what I was doing? That's the number four for you? Why? Did you have four, not you? Do you want me to read it for you? Yes. It says, Coco Owen. Tonto Rere est parti sur son bateau dire bonjour aux pirates et ils lui ont donné cette carte pour toi. Ils lui ont dit que tu avais l'âge nécessaire pour apprendre à être un gentil pirate. Les gentils pirates s'occupent des poissons malades et des perroquets qui n'arrivent plus trop à voler. Les pirates te font cadeau de ce super badge qui t'aidera à te transformer en pirate. Encore joyeux anniversaire, Tata Coco, Tonto Rere et Bébé Don. Will we explain, will we talk like daddy to explain what it said in the card? Yes. What did it say in the card? Will you explain? I can't. Well, okay, so this is a card uh, from my sister and her husband and their little girl. And it says that uh, Remy, my brother-in-law, is working in the Navy and he goes on a boat at sea and he met some pirates that gave this card for Owen. To say that Owen was now big enough, come here, we'll explain. Owen is now big enough to be a nice pirate, and the mission for nice mm. pirates is to not pick their nose, <laughs> <laughs> it's to um, take care of fish that are not well, and to help pirates that can't fly very well because they are hurt. And they gave him a badge, it's a special badge for him to be a pirate because he's now four so he got a special pirate badge what that is this is what the badge was do you want to wear it yes are you going to be a super pirate i hold on oh hold on hold on i'm gonna to have to put the camera down to do this see your badge oh wow now you can be a super pirate, won't you? Yeah, I'm going to do it also now. Okay. Will you say put it in a special place so you don't lose it? Yeah, I will go here, yeah. On the card? Okay. Yeah. Oh, not on the door. All right, okay. I got something exciting in the post too. I don't know if you remember, but whenever I did the um, Perfect Stranger swap, I got one of these pen with decorative tape inside and I love it so much I decided to order a few more designs I try them all on a page so you can see um, how they look which one is your favorite Owen? little horses? yes yeah that's nice I actually love that little Christmas one but I do like them all really the quiche is now ready so we're gonna have lunch I'm going to take stuff down from the attic and move the stuff up. So these three bags need to go up. They are um, like super summery quilts or very wintry ones. These are pregnancy pillows that I don't use anymore. And then we also have the suitcases are going up. The box of the jumper because I want to be able to put it back in the box after. And this is the little nest Alfie had in his cot. But it's a bit too big now for us so we're gonna put it up as well we brought down this is the bag of clothes from 6 to 9 month and 9 to 12 month from owen and i have a big storage box to put the clothes that i will use later on for alfie and the rest will go to charity do you want to explain what happened owen i fell down why did you fall down on the on the jumper way owen fell he tripped and he fell he, well he was going to fall on alfie on the jumper way so he decided to try and fall to the side to avoid him so nobody was hurt but he got very scared that he was going to hurt Alfie that's why he was very upset but no one was hurt see Alfie's fine 
Look at him, he's, he's all in his jumper room going <laughs> <laughs> If he wasn't fine, he wouldn't do that, would he? And you, are you fine? Yes. Aw, see, is everything is alright? You didn't do anything. I say, do you want me to say funny things to make you laugh? Yes. So, will we sing a silly song? <laughs> yeah. So what kind of silly song will you I, want? Uh, a piggy go. Piggy go. A piggy go? Yeah. <laughs> That's the piggy go song. <laughs> the piggy goes. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. The piggy on the bus goes. Oink, <laughs> oink, oink. All day long. Is that what's so funny? Yes. Do you want to play your game with, that, with Alfie again? I wanted to play a game with you. Would you like to help me to sort through these baby clothes? Yes. Okay, well, you can be my helper, okay? Look, we have this big bag of clothes down there. And there's a box. <laughs> this is the box of the clothes that need to be washed. They are clean, but because they were in the attic, I'm going to wash them all anyway. So this is the clothes that we keep. And then here we have clothes that we give. And then we're going to make a bag of clothes that we're going to give to little children. Okay? I'm gonna pick one. Okay, you're gonna pick them and you pass them to me and then we'll see where we put them, okay? I'm gonna pick one dog one. Okay. So this big box there is all the 9 to 12 month clothes. Um, some of it was Owen, some of it I bought in France. This little bag is going to charity. Then this snowsuit is gonna be given to one of my friends who's having a baby because it's uh, 3 to 6 and that's what Alfie's wearing now, so he's not going to be wearing that in the winter. These are the 6 to 9 clothes left uh, from Owen. And these are the 6 to 9 clothes uh, that I bought for Alfie. So basically we probably won't actually need any more 9 to 12 month uh, clothes. He has plenty there. We're going to need, uh, well apart from the basics like vests and things, you know, underwear really. Um, for the 6 to 9 we are missing, I want to buy some baby leggings because I have some jeans. I got some baby leggings but um, they are the best thing I find for baby boys. Um, they are comfy and they keep me warm and they can move around easily. So, And these are the bigger sleeping bags um, that I need to wash. So basically that box is going to go in the wash. The sleeping bags are too. And I'm going to wait until he's closer to that size to wash everything that's in that box because it's either new or um, was it's, it's been, I put them clean in the attic but they were sitting in bags for quite some time so I want to make sure they are clean I was looking online um, I know I need some trousers for Alfie for in six to nine months and I was looking online to try and find some baby leggings because they are just so handy and comfortable and I just can't find anything that's really fun or affordable well or it's just not good value for money so I decided that I would buy a pattern to make some and buy some uh, different fabrics to make uh, the leggings in so I'm going to show you uh, what I picked so I hope it will show right first one is this yellow tiger one then there's this little one with the foxes this one this one, I pick. This one and this one and I'm also going to make them hats and Owen picked that fabric for his hat mm. and he's picked that fabric for Alfie for his hat so I just had an idea I usually don't uh, do any Halloween related item unless they are ordered on purpose obviously um, but I thought because now I'm gonna have more time to sew I might actually do some little tote bags for children to go trick and trick or treating in in not in the bag <laughs> well um, and actually just went to check thinking I might have some Halloween fabric left over uh, to use to make one example to put on my page and see if people are interested and I actually quite have quite a lot so I have three different ones the first one is this one it has um, little Russian dolls pumpkins sweets cats it's 
it's really nice and I have quite a good bit of it so I might be able to do several bags with it. Well, definitely we'll be able to do several bags but this one. Then I have this one which has um, witches and different halloween -y creatures. And the last one is my favourite. It's this one. Um, I just find it really cute. So um, I think tomorrow I might make make one bag with each and just put them up and see what people think and if people don't like them uh, we'll have one for Owen. Uh, well Alfie is a bit too young really to have a bag but um, I'm sure I'll find some children around me I'll be very pleased to have a trick-or-treating bag and what I'm going to do is like the Christmas stockings I'm going to put a label on them and to hand write well hand paint the name of children for them to be able to be uh, personalized and the next thing I'm going to do now uh, the boys are in bed so well James is trying to get Alfie in bed but obviously he woke up um, I had bought I don't know if you remember I was showing you before going to France I had bought all these new fabrics and um, I want to make some cushions to put on my page um, ready to buy and maybe even in my Etsy shop and I'm going to buy some plain fabrics to work with those to be able to make some of the owls using some of those fabrics as well and I need more red fabric because I have some Jordan strawberries that have been ordered and they both need the red I have quite a bit but it's on offer at the moment so I'm going to stock up so yeah so I'm going to do some fabric shopping now I feel like I haven't done much today well I haven't filmed much today but then we were in the house most of the day and doing stuff so uh, it may be a shorter vlog I can't remember but I will see you tomorrow and I hope you are having a lovely weekend bye